you and I are sinners. We are in need of salvation. We are in need of salvation more than we are in need of healing. We are in need of salvation more than we are in need of a spouse, a breakthrough, a new car, a loan. We are in need of salvation more than we need the inflation to go down. We are in need of salvation more than we need the gas prices and the groceries to go down. Our biggest problem is not social injustice. Our biggest problem is sin in our heart. Our biggest problem is not even ignorance. It is the sin in our heart and Jesus solves the biggest problem. And that is the problem of sin. What all these people have in common and a lot of people sitting here today have in common is this. We acknowledge we are sinners. Now some of us, what we do is this. We say, yeah, I'm a sinner, but I'm gonna try hard to earn God's love. I'm gonna try hard, I'm gonna join a religion. I'm going to start doing some good works and then God will be pleased with me. Good works cannot save you. That if I'm just a good person, I will go to heaven. If you're a good person, it's kind of like swimming to Hawaii just because you're a good swimmer. You're not gonna make it to Hawaii. You are good, but not good enough to go to heaven. You might be good enough to stay out of Benton County Jail, but you are not good enough to go into heaven. Now some people will say, well Vlad, but I'm a Catholic. You know what? That doesn't mean that you're born again. Jesus told the person who was religious, Nicodemus, not only Nicodemus was a good man, righteous man, and he was a religious man, Jesus says you must be born again. Don't hide behind Catholicism. Don't hide behind, well, my parents are Christian. Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, on this hot, scorching, beautiful August day, could be a day where you will meet Jesus. Your heart will be changed. Your sin will be forgiven. Your guilt will be lifted up. Your name will be written in the book of life. Demons will be broken off of you. Curses will be broken off of you. And you can begin a new life, not in a religion, in a relationship with the most beautiful person on the earth, Jesus Christ. The reason why we get baptized by full immersion is because Jesus died and was buried and came back from the dead. Jesus wasn't sprinkled on the cross. He was fully dead. He died, he was buried and came back. So when you get baptized today, you're identifying with Jesus that your old life is over. So your old life is over and you died with Jesus. I am buried with Jesus and I come alive with Jesus. So when you get water baptized, you identify yourself with His death, His burial and resurrection. So baptism is for identification. So right there what's going to happen in the water is not salvation. It's a symbol of a salvation that has happened that you gave your life to Jesus. You believe that He died on the cross, He was buried and He rose from the dead and you identify with Him. Can somebody say Amen? amen. So that's the first thing is that it's identification. It's not salvation, it's identification. Your sin has been buried on the cross with Woo! Jesus. This is just a symbol of that death that happened 2,000 years ago where Jesus took your sin and He killed and your old nature on the cross. Today you just identified. But there's a second thing that happens with water baptism. Preparation. Preparation for what? It's a preparation for the Holy Spirit. This is just the beginning because God wants to baptize you not just in water, He wants to baptize you in fire. Uh, yes. And so I want you, even after this baptism, not only walk for Jesus, live for Jesus. I want you to expect the Holy Spirit to become your best friend. Expect the Holy Spirit to fill you afresh and to lead your life. Because when the Holy Spirit fills you, it's way better than Columbia River. It's a pure living water that flows from the inside of you. In baptism, you go into the water and you get dunked. In the Holy Spirit, He comes inside of you and He fills you. Now, as a Christian, you already have the Holy Spirit. But when you get filled afresh, you can continuously be filled with the Holy Spirit, your life changes.